going on ladies and gentlemen, Highlander here, and welcome back to Pokemon Volt Y2 Randomizer Nuzlocke on Challenge Mode, episode number 41? It's 41 or 42, I can't remember. But in today's episode, guys, we are going to be taking on the next lem the next member of the Elite Four, since I told you guys already, and my webcam is being stupid and being, like, super laggy right now. I don't know why. Um, but, whoop, let's flip my hair back and forth. I told you guys that in the last episode that or a few episodes ago that we were going to do all the Elite Four members in their own episode. So that is what we're going to do. So in today's episode, we are going to take on another person. Not really know... <clears throat> like I said last time, I don't really know exactly who all the Elite Four members are, or where they're positioned, I should say. I know what the typings are. But before we do that, we're going to do a quick team recap, as we always do, guys. Up first, we got Nico the Arcanine. Arcanine! All right. My voice. I don't know. It, it sounds like... It feels super... Quiet. I don't know why. Um, anyway, enough of that. Uh, Nico the Arcanine is up first with Crunch, Flamethrower, Outrage, and Flare Blitz. Next up, we got Icarus the Zekrom with Ancient Power, Fusion Bolt, Outrage, and Crunch. Next, we got Boomy the Swampert with Earthquake, Hammer Arm, Waterfall, and Surf. Next, we got Cat the uh, Delicati with Wake Up Slap, Covet, Sucker Punch, and Double Edge. And last but not least, we got Moon Moon with re uh, the Clefairy with Retaliate, Return, Minimize, and Metronome. Alright guys, it is time to do some Elite Four d d destruction. Alright, so we're gonna go into this one right here, the far left. What is in here? Is it the ghost fighting or is it the dark? I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's ghost type because there's lots of fire going everywhere. Um, I'm gonna keep Nico up front because it does have that crunch and the crunch is so crunchy. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. It is... Ah, oh, I can't wait till like, I can record on a day where I haven't been, like, super exhausted. But, enough about my woes, because you guys don't care about that. You guys hear about... <laughs> you guys hear about the Pokemon games. So, alright. Um, it really sucks that this is turning out to be a lot more anticlimactic than, it, than it, I wanted it to be. There's one man who wonders the world with a white dragon Pokemon to search for truth. That's the part of a novel I'm writing. I want to write down the event that happened on that day. Sorry, it's nothing to do with you. You're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Force Ghost Type Pokemon user Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. So here we go! Elite Four member, the or the second Elite Four member, Chantal, and we're already hopping into this. But I was, as I was saying, it's turning out to be way more anticlimactic than I was expecting it to be. For the pure reason, I thought I needed to be way higher level than I actually needed to be. Uh, it's really unfortunate that it turned out this way. Uh, let's go for a crunch. Why the heck not? And he's going to switch my items. He's going to take my charcoal. What a jerk. What a jerk. But he's doing some pretty sweet plays right there. Uh, it's not going to do that much. First impressions are everything. I agree. I got I to... Gotta Turn this on right here. That's why my voice is so quiet. Oh my goodness. It wasn't in the microphone. It just wasn't my ear. Uh, let's go for the flamethrower. Even though we did have... Oh, recover! Recover! You're trying to stall, aren't you? You fiend. Um, even though my charcoal was taken. So this would have done more damage had I... Hey, did more damage than Crutch did. So we're just going to go for the flamethrower again. Oh, Sableye. Are you seriously going to recover stall this? Come on. We don't have time for this. We, we we have a strict deadline where we need to take down all the Elite Four members. Come on. And a full restart, of course. Why wouldn't you? After you recover stall, you're gonna full restore. I'm like flipping my hair all, all around. Is that a crit? It's a crit, ladies and gentlemen! Nico is a beast. Uh, Jellicent. That does not sound like good news for Nico, but for Icarus, that sounds like a party. So I'm going to switch in Icarus, even though this Jellicent probably has Ice Beam. I'm willing to bet on that. Um, and I'm going to... I don't know, should I Fusion Bolt or should I Crunch? I kind of want to save my Fusion Bolts. I'm going to Crunch. Maybe it has lower uh, physical defense too. But I don't get stabbed from Crunch. But it is a one-hit KO. That's good. Very good. Dusclops. Ah, uh, we'll stay in. Because Icarus... Ic Icarus has 
proven himself worthy in this LP. You guys, you guys have seen it. With your own eyes. How freaking beast Icarus is. Cursed body. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on! You gotta, you gotta disable my crunch. Alright. Um... In that case... Let's just switch into Nico. I don't want to unnecessarily use Fusion Bolt. I have to save my PP for uh, when I need it the most. Uh, my knee has really been killing me today, guys. I don't know why. I'm as a work. I mean, I stand up all day, but it hasn't been like this. My knee's just killing me. It's just killing me. All right. Ooh, earthquake. That's not good, Nico. Okay. We are confused, though. That's annoying. Okay. Nico, cut the crap. Alright. You came to the Elite Four to, sh to shred. Not to hit yourself in confusion, and he does it twice in a row. Of course he does. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna use another full restore. One of my 78 that I have, because I had so much money. <laughs> Nico snapped out of confusion, which is good. I didn't know that it full restores did that. The more you know, I suppose. This is gonna keep earthquaking, so that's annoying. Um, but I, I really hope the challenge or the champion is a lot stronger than this, because I want this to be intense. And I completely, completely shot down any chances this, this uh, the elite four being intense by leveling this high. And I apologize, guys. It was not my intention. It was, my intention was to have it be close, because I didn't think I was going to be even near their level. I'm so mad at myself that I did this. Uh, let's go for the Surf. Hopefully I have a lower special defense. Ah! Uh, ooh! Boomy, yes! Way to go, Boomy. A Ganga! Alright, so we're going to have to switch into... What the heck? Let's switch into Cat. Let's let's use Cat a little bit here. Haven't used you at all yet, but you actually have pretty decent stats. So, and Gengar is going to be uh, very surprised that this double edge is going to hit. Just saying. Wait, what? I have Ring Target on. What? I have ring target on. Why did that not work? Are you serious? I think this game is like broken in like with the items. I think some items are broken in this game. Or in this hack, I should say. That's stupid. Ring target makes moves that shouldn't hit you hit you, but you can do the same thing to the opponent. It's like a risky item. But no! No! Apparently it only works for the opponent, even though I use Focus Blast, no, no ghost type move. But still! We are checking out this item after this match. Uh, Chandler, send out Boomy. Boomy should have no problems defeating this thing. Unless it has Grass Knot. I would be really sad. Air Balloon! It's not over yet! I'll finish it my way! <laughs> this isn't Burger King, lady! It's not Burger King. Shadow Ball. Ah, you pesky rodents. Disappear from my sight. Alright, so Chandelier goes down. We pop the air balloon. It's insignificant at this point. Do you ever feel at loss of words when something greatly moves you? To tell the truth, I'm a writer, but right now I'm having trouble putting... So whatever, okay. The text passes too fast, I can't read it! Goodness. Goodness gracious. My Pokemon and the Challenger's Pokemon. Everyone battled, even though they were hurt. Thank you. Yeah! You killed my Delcaddy. Freaking, all right. Give me this ring target, and we're gonna look at this. Together, as, as, as a group, as, as friends. Ring target. Moves that would otherwise have no effect will land on the Pokemon that holds it. So you're telling me 
that this only works against you. There is no positive for equipping the ring target. This is literally the most useless, literally the most useless item that exists. The most useless. Even the focus sash. No, it wasn't a focus sash. What was it? Focus band? Even the focus band was more useful than that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that was Elite Four member Chantal. Um, I will go ahead and end this episode right here because we have two more to take, two more Jim Lee or Elite Four members to take on. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys were excited and liked this video that was published today, um, feel free to go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. It really just helps support the channel. Also, if you guys really like what I do, feel free to hit that subscribe button because you'll be taken to my channel where you will see all of my content. I'm playing through Ori and the Blind Forest right now. If you guys are curious, go ahead and check that series out. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Um, and uh, yeah, but... I don't think I have anything else to say, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.